What's up? Welcome to the studio. I'm Ill Gates and I got some more free tips for you aspiring musicians out there, whether you are just starting out or whether you are looking to build your name, you need to understand how you get fans. How do you get fans? Okay, because getting fans, that's the engine of your success. I know a lot of very talented musicians will kind of just be spinning their wheels. They'll be making amazing music, but not really getting anywhere in the music business because they're waiting for some magical fairy in a suit to come along and whisk them away to fame and success. They want to just focus on the art and have other people focus on everything else. And they feel like if they make art that's good enough that they'll deserve fame and success and that it'll just come to them. Well, I hate to say it, but that is not how it works. To get a manager, to get an agent, to get anywhere, you need to show that you're capable of being disciplined, taking your art seriously, making not just one amazing piece of art, but repeatedly making pieces of art and then turning that music or art or whatever it is into follows and shares and passionate fans who want to support your music. So I would recommend that you check out Kevin Kelly's 1000 True Fans model, right? This is a, a very important piece of understanding about how to build a living as a musician or really doing anything. You should also check out Seth Godin's Purple Cow TED Talk, where he talks about how to make your music naturally create a conversation. Make people want to talk about your music. Make people want to spread your message. Because how your message spreads, how your fan base builds, is one fan at a time. Do something that they love. If you can, if you can scratch some kind of an existential itch for them, you can, you can talk to them about what they're passionate about and make them want to tell their friends because what you do is interesting, right? So target not just the masses, but one specific fan in your mind. Populate your audience with who is my perfect listener. Don't talk to everybody, just talk to that one person. But the trick to this is people are more alike than they are different from each other. That's why horoscopes work. If you are writing horoscopes, you can write very vague things that if you talk to people about what they're listening for, even though you've written a horoscope that could apply to anybody born at any point in the year, people will read this horoscope and if you've written it in the right way, they'll be like, that horoscope is just for me. They'll feel like it's for an audience of one, even though it's not really. Well, it's the same thing with your music or your art or whatever it is that you're doing that you want people to care about. You can, if you do it in the right way, have in your mind an audience of one, but have your message be universal. Just like when you listen to a love song about someone's specific breakup. If you've ever gone through a breakup, in some ways that love song will feel like it applies to you, right? So. Populate your imagination with your one ideal listener. Don't try to target everybody and just try and really make that one person care. Try and do something really special. Try and do something that's, that's different. Don't just play a role or assemble a collage of your influences. Try and talk to just that one person. Talk to them about what they care about. Make them feel something. It could be happiness, it could be sadness, it could be anger, it could be dread, it could be, you know, marveling at the dystopian future, or it could be hope. It could be anything. Just make them feel something. Create a conversation with your art and your message will spread one fan at a time. 
if you make sure that your artist name is easy for people to look you up from a verbal conversation, if you make sure that when they find your artist page, they can get free downloads in exchange for following you on SoundCloud or following you on Spotify, right? Make sure that you're not just giving away your art, but that you're encouraging people to like, to subscribe, to download. You've got to tell them to do it, okay? And we all make fun of YouTubers for you know, asking people to like and subscribe at the beginning of every video, but you have to tell them what to do or they're not going to do it, right? And if you can get comfortable asking, if you can get comfortable asking people to follow you, asking people to subscribe to your channels or your email list or whatever, if you can do it and, and make it feel natural because it shows that you believe in your music, you believe in your art because other people are not going to believe in it. They're not going to fall in love with your art if you don't believe in it. That's why uh, visual presentation is so important. You know, having a really nice looking logo, branding, color schemes, artwork, that stuff is all really important because that's sending the message that you believe in your vision, that you believe in your art, that your fans can become followers because you're going somewhere special. You have a vision. As cool as this individual piece was, it's part of a larger journey that these fans can believe in and these fans can go with you on that journey. And then you just keep nailing it. You know, make sure that, you know, when you release a track, you'll notice a lot of the time you post the track, people don't really care. But if you use the track in like an audio meme, you know, maybe it's a visual meme that has your track as the soundtrack. People love talking about cats or spreading funky, cool pictures on the internet. And if your song is part of that meme, it will take advantage of the natural dynamics of the internet and spread. You could also have the song, behind the scenes videos of your song. You could have dance videos of your song. You could talk to your friends who maybe do live painting or dancing or talk to content creators who do makeup tutorials. People always need new music for their social media posts, okay? So each track should not just be a single post. It should be a campaign of posts. And in all of those posts, there should be some sort of a follow to download, you know, subscribe to download, ask, you know? And as long as you can keep making cool content, include a track each time and an ask each time, and really just don't focus on making it for everyone, focus on making it amazing for one person because that's how you build your fan base one person at a time by creating a conversation by making them fall in love with your art because they feel like it's just for them so hold the audience of one in your mind and if you can win over one person at a time make them want to talk about it make them want to follow make them want to download and ask for those follows and downloads you'll be able to build your own fan base because you only really need a thousand true fans. You only need a thousand diehard fans and you can start making a living. So check out the 1000 true fans model. Check out Seth Godin's purple cow Ted talk and really focus on how you can create a conversation with your music, how you can get those follows and likes and subscribes in exchange for your content and how you can turn each song into many posts, many pieces of content, many videos, many images. Take your graphic design seriously, take your branding seriously. Show us with your earnest approach and your obvious belief in your music that we can believe in you and we wanna go on that journey with you and you will easily be able to build your fan base. It might take a year, but if you keep nailing it and you keep putting out those posts and you keep making people fall in love with you, making them want to follow you, then you'll get to a thousand true fans. And once you have a thousand true fans, you will attract a manager. You will attract an agent because they'll see that you have fans that care. Okay. And then from there, it just snowballs and snowballs and builds and builds. You can do this. I believe in you. Okay. It's not magic. But you got to recognize no one's just going to hand that to you. You need to interact with your fans directly. You need to win us over, make us care, one fan at a time, build your fan base. If you can get to a thousand, it's all downhill from there. All right. I believe in you. I love you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content like this. And be sure to check out 
producerdojo.com. That's where I do most of my educational efforts. There's all kinds of great free stuff for you there too. And I'm sure that once you check it out, you're going to want to join our amazing, thriving community of musicians helping musicians. And I would love to have you be a member of our community. So go forth, make the best music and art, make those fans, join the Producer Dojo community, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I'm Bill Gates. Lots of love. See you next time. Peace. It's like that.